Welcome to Earth Love Global. We've got the field here in the backyard of Earth Love Global. We've got some cattle and they're currently grazing on some pastures. You can see how they're all scattered and, and they're choosing to eat what they want to eat. Now, this is okay as long as you've got the acreage to support their pickings and to support their way that they choose to consume the yields in the field. Now, we suggest that bunching and holding cattle together, see like underneath this tree here, bunching them together uh, and moving them through the field as in like mob grazing and you could do this with several hundred head all at once traveling through a field but the more you bunch them up the less that they choose to consume what they want instead they they end up eating pretty much everything in their path now what happens here is when you do this you get to choose how much that they eat within that area and we suggest earth loves globals practices suggest that when you're got cattle and horses in a field not to eat out any more than 50 percent of any plant chewing down any more than 50 percent of any plant will actually result in the plant stalling and from there what happens is you end up uh, stalling for 21 days um, this this stalls your your yields which slows down your productivity which slows down the amount of pastures growing uh, and if you're in a tough environment and location this is very very important like a key fundamental component of grazing pastures now you can see that they're they're going through they're picking what they want out of this and then they're moving on uh, which is fine it's that's good um, as long as they're only removing about 50 percent of the plant this is why bunching and mob grazing is a very smart approach but making sure that you don't chew out any more than 50 percent if you'd like to increase your yields in the field, we suggest look into myco restoration. Now, beneficial fungi will allow plants to grow in places where you just don't get any rain at all. Only a few months ago, this was all brown. Now, we haven't implemented any beneficial fungi into this paddock. It's not ours to start with, but if you were to, the amount of growth that you would receive in a field would increase dramatically. And you would just see an ultimate 180 return in definitely your investments into myco restoration but when you increase your field you're increasing your yield you're increasing your productivity you're increasing your back pocket so if you've got cattle and you got pastures if you would like management suggestions or help in the field here on the sunshine coast Google Earth Love Global for more information. We've got packages available where we can come out and guide you through what to do and what not to do and how to approach a situation that you might be currently in and how to avoid that in the future. If you've got any questions, put them down in the comments below. Google, Instagram, Earth Love Global, even jump on Facebook and 
check out Earth Love Global for more information. We are the micro restoration business for agriculture, local government, forestries, nurseries, and all the above, and so much more. Contact us online or give us a call. Earth Love Global.